Hey guys, so uh, here we are, still charging. Nice moon up there. Can't decide whether it's like uh, Boonwell or you know if the cloud's supposed to be like a super star destroyer, eh, something like that. Anyway, it's a uh, 8:15 ish, so I'm a little bit later. Just out of curiosity, I'm you know feeling the cord. It's actually not really warm at all. Like it, it maybe on a hot day it would be. Um, I'm not sure. I should actually look this up. I'm not sure where the charger is located. Underneath, you know, maybe underneath the hood of the bolt somewhere. But I'm just trying to see if I can feel where maybe there'd be some heat emanating. But, you know, I can't. So, whatever. Ah. But this does uh, actually... I'm going to go over and check out the interface too. So it's telling me to select my connector. Now last thing I checked it was still there so I guess this doesn't... Hmm. It's at 69% battery but I guess this doesn't give you an update either. I've uh, seen that some that seem to... I, I did my uh, my Chevrolet app to check and see and it said the car is still charging it's on schedule to be 80 percent by uh, hmm. so it looks like it deactivated interesting um, hmm. we'll have to see what that was but it's supposed to be 80 percent by uh, by 820 well it's clearly not going to be that now so let's see if I can activate this again I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the station but it was charging just a moment ago so I'll see all right guys this is weird all right so this is weird so it's it's might be that uh, they've uh, they've used the same setup for uh, the BMW i3 as they have for others so it, it, it's almost as though they're they're just stopping the charge at 30 minutes regardless so just just so you know I mean I'm a I'm a card carrying member no I, I actually pay for my membership so I don't get anything any of these free perks like the the Leafs or the uh, BMW uh, vehicles get so I I hope uh, EVgo didn't try and make like a a, a um, quick way of of cutting off like the free charges by limiting it to 30 minutes to for all users because I'm sorry they're just not charging fast enough to warrant limiting to 30 minute sessions uh, you know so EVgo if you or a representative is listening to this uh, it, you know not every vehicle now can only go 100 miles on a charge you know so, some of us can go significantly farther and we need a you know more than 30 minutes at a uh, 40 to 45 kilowatts so um, now, they are listing that as 0.49 kilo. Okay, so that's kilowatt hours. For a second, I was getting worried that that was the rate. So, just in case you guys are unsure, uh, kilowatts is the rate of power. It's basically uh, amperage by voltage, but uh, uh, kilowatt hours is um, basically one kilowatt. Um, over the course of an hour but it's it's a, a measure of capacity so um, yeah that was reading kilowatt hours delivered so I was a little I was a little worried um, but uh, but yeah so this delayed me a bit and and actually um, I want to go past 80 um, I want to go past 
80 percent i i don't want to stop at 80 percent because i don't know that that's going to give me enough range right now it says 168 miles to be safe i want to have about 180 to to a hunt yeah at least 180 miles so um on my predicted range so here we are um as you can see you know it's it's Unlike before when it was charging at 40 to 45 kilowatt hours, or I mean 40 to 45 kilowatts, it's now charging at 24. So it looks like it'll charge up to about 24 to get to 80. Um, but I also, I also want to do this as a little bit of a, of a test as well. Like I said, I want to go past 80%. And part of the reason to do that is I need the range, but or I guess that's the main reason. But another reason I kind of want to do it is I want to see how much power is being delivered when it hits 80%. Because, you know, it, it, you could uh, you could make the argument that if you're at 80% and you want to top off even more, it's actually more effective to use a, 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 level, a level 2 charger like, you know, this one right here. Um, it's actually... More effective to use that because you're paying less for it typically um, and it will be charging at a similar rate but right now it's 23 if if we hit 80 percent and it's still charging at you know 10 to 15 kilowatts that's actually you know twice as effective as the bolts level 2 charger so um, you know, max you're going to get out of a level two charge in a bolt is about 7.2 kilowatts. So, and, and some have said, oh, maybe it, maybe it's like 7.7, .7, but that hasn't been verified yet. But if it's getting 14, 15, 16 kilowatts at 80 to 85%, um, you'd be better off, uh, actually DC fast charging up to say, you know, 85 to 90% capacity. And then, you know, and, and, and actually maybe a quick way of doing that is to, you know, in, in the energy settings, just, just, uh, set up your, uh, your charging, set up your, uh, hilltop mode, you know, so, oh, that's an interesting screen too. So yeah, if you, uh, if you want to set up so that, uh, that it doesn't, it doesn't top off past 90%. It looks like I can't really do anything. So it looks like on this screen, on the charging screen, you're locked in. Um, energy settings, hilltop reserve. You could actually maybe set this on, and you know that would prevent you from overcharging too. I don't know. So you have options, but that's a little disappointing. That I don't know if it was a bug, but. Uh, I basically would have been done by now had uh, had it not shut off. So, oh well, you know, it's his life. Getting out my cheat sheet because, you know, the weakest ink is stronger than the best memory, as they say. So, Gilroy, according to my my notes calculations, was going to be 158 miles, or sorry, 100. And, what is it? 159 miles from here. So, yeah, I have to travel 159 miles, and uh, I, I don't know if, if this is based off the previous estimate. I mean, you look at the what the minimum is. The minimum is, is 37, or 137. So, something else I might do, like I said, I'll let this get up to maybe 180, um, maybe 185 miles of uh, estimated range. Uh, and actually I might just wait to see if the, the kilowatt hour or the kilowatt charging drops to below say like 15, that, that might be when I cut it off. But I have another option too, that there's a 24 kilowatt charger um, at King city. And so if I get to the point, you know, where the exit for King city is, and my estimated range does not match um, what uh, um, what the navigation says I have left. Then I then I might just pull off for a, a few minutes and and top off. But 
I mean, think about it this way too. That charger's max charging rate is what I'm charging at right now. Um, so it, it would be kind of wasteful to, to stop and do that. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying this road trip as much as I am because, whew, uh, uh, yeah.